stories are about a lot of baby rolling, just a lot. Sure. Well, you know, audiences notice it. Even if you don't think they do, they do. Yeah. On a subconscious level, and yeah. it affects them. It has a cumulative effect. Yeah, because it does destroy their, or takes their concentration away from them. I think the best place for a cinematographer to start is to work in a camera rental house, mm -hmm. because you just learn the equipment completely. Yeah. You make a lot of connections. And uh, he told me that recently he has had a lot of women who have come in and are working for him now. Down. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so I think that uh, what will happen is that you'll see um, them starting to be assistant camera and then moving up to on. I mean, it's a fun genre. And, and these days, I think people are looking for movies that are entertaining because uh, the world situation is sort of depressing enough. So. Um, I, thi I think very possibly. I mean, Exterminator was a lot harder film than this was. Um, I think as you get older, you mellow out a little bit. I don't know. I, I just had a kid, so, you know, someday. <laughs> All right. Okay. What all was involved in that 18-wheeler explosion? Would it be better if I looked maybe Would about here? Yeah, here? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think. Let me try again. What all was involved in that 18-wheeler explosion? At any time, did you use miniatures in this film? These are very dangerous stunts. Did you have any accidents? Um, Jim, what are your thoughts about the Vic Morrow accident? Okay. Do you, as a director, feel pressurized to top yourself or other directors' stunts 